What is up everybody? Paul Rostek here, spiritual teacher of Universal Oneness, channeler of healing. And today I would like to talk to you all a bit about the transitional trap between meat, dairy, gluten, sugar, all that stuff that'll eventually kill you, bring your mood down, drain your energy into the transition of 100% plant-based vegan. Now, a lot of you know, I've only been vegan, 100% plant-based vegan for probably, I don't know, less than a year now. And it took me a long time to transition over. Okay, a lot of people were angry at me. I got hate mail, emails, messages. When I told people that while you are on the transitional path, if you have to eat meat, go ahead and eat meat. And people didn't understand what I meant. You can't just go from a toxic meat, dairy, sugar, processed foods, gluten diet over to pure. What happens is you'll, you'll just flop right back. You'll actually get sick. Okay, and that's what I want to talk about today. Why did I go 100% plant-based vegan? Okay, well, I was allergic to a lot of foods growing up. I was allergic to most vegetables and I was allergic to most fruits. I was allergic to massive airborne things out in the world, massively allergic to earth pretty much. And over the years, I, I developed really intense um, digestion issues, inflammation, bleeding, okay? This could lead to serious, serious health issues, okay? There was massive deterioration going on. And once I realized that it was because of the meat was most of it, I don't have dairy, okay? I've, I've just always been really allergic to milk. And um, sugar, I've never been into. I think part of the reason why is because, you know, growing up, there wasn't much money. So whatever you had for like cereal or whatever, you put sugar on it. Right. Well, I had a lot of sugar. And, you know, back in the day, we were born in the time to where, you know, we're force fed sugar. It's almost like this is good here. Have cake, have cupcakes, have candy bars. Penny candy was a big thing back in the day. You go to the candy store and there's, it's all full of one cent, you know, per candy. So you go in there with 25 cents or 50 cents, you know, with your buddy and you're walking out with woo -hoo, right. Dunkin Donuts just came out. Donuts, which is probably like the worst thing on the planet to eat. Point I'm getting at is I developed this hypoglycemia, which eventually could have turned to diabetes. So this hypoglycemia was from the, this sugar intake being so sensitive. Remember, I'm talking to empaths here. I'm not talking to everybody. There's people that could eat meat. There's people that can have milk and, and all this stuff. And they live to 90 years old. Fine. I'm talking about beings of unconditional love. All right. So once I decided, once somebody had mentioned to me, hey, you need to go, you need to do two weeks plant based. And I'm challenging everybody now to start two week challenge, 100 percent plant based vegan. I'll talk more about how it's a misconception on how being vegan is doesn't taste good. If so, you go into the rookie version of the of the plant based. Um, but it's not expensive. It's actually cheaper to go this way. Okay, so I took my two weeks and I ate clean. And then I went back and I had a piece of pizza and I don't think I could have, I could have got out of bed for about a day. I crashed. I passed out. I was getting treated every six months for Lyme disease, which was not Lyme disease. It was from my diet. It was from meat um, and processed foods. Okay, like I said, I didn't have sugar and I didn't have dairy. Think of that. Okay, so when I made this transition, I realized not only was, was eating this food, mimicking Lyme disease, fibromyalgia, all autoimmune issues, okay, but it was, it was uh, causing depression, anxiety, fear it lowered my frequency okay so then i realized but then i had to take my time it took 
six months or so to transition over. And I want to explain why. When we have meat and all the other things, this causes inflammation. There's toxins that build up that the body can't get rid of. Look at my videos a year ago and, and check out what my face looked like compared to what it looks like now. Okay, look at how swollen. What happens is the lymph node system, it can't flush. This is why people break out with psoriasis and, and skin issues. Okay, I ate an avocado and was sick. I was allergic to bananas. I was allergic to all vegetables that were raw and a lot more other fruits. But I wasn't allergic to it. The reason why I got sick from eating avocado, the reason why I had bumps in, the, in my mouth that were itchy from eating a banana was because I was so toxic that this good food made me sick. It couldn't push out all the toxins enough. Okay? So this is the transitional trap between meat, dairy, sugar, gluten, to 100% plant-based vegan. So this is where a lot of people, they will attempt this. They'll jump right over and end up sick. Okay, there's a rookie version of, of, um, of being a vegan. This is where people go to Walmart, Stop and Shop, places like that, and they'll get like the vegan version of hot dog, right? Or the vegan version of bacon. Satan, I think, is a, a brand, right? And these things are filled with sugar. I can't express this enough how bad sugar is for you. It is poison to an empath. So what happens is when we dive into this stuff, this kind of like rookie version of, of veganism, we still don't feel good. And it's very expensive. Okay? I'm going to be doing a post later. And I'm going to show you a couple pictures that we had cooked for dinner and for breakfast. And I want to show you how easy it is and how cheap it is. Okay. But this transitional trap, there has to be the time to purge the system. I can't express this enough. I've lived it. Okay. Now, we have to purge the system. So this means a slow process. This means, okay, let's start eliminating a bit of the dairy. Let's start eliminating the sugar. If I can suggest anything right now to all of you beings of unconditional love, it's release the sugar. Okay? Release this stuff. There's another misconception that vegans can't enjoy treats and can't enjoy puddings and can't enjoy you know that can't enjoy ice creams and things like that oh no 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 that was all back in the day there's much more opportunity out there now today okay all sorts of places are making the transition why is this so important well do you want to die okay cancer process processed cheese you want you want to know why they can't find the cure to cancer right how about we eliminate the sugar, we eliminate the dairy, we eliminate the processed foods, we eliminate the meat, and we go back to the body's original divine blueprint. How about the menu that your divine blueprint offers you? Somebody said to me maybe 20 years ago now, maybe more. Now this is when, you know, vegan thing wasn't that popular, right? I was 18, so it was more than that. And my friend's father held up his hand and he said, you see this? These hands are made for picking fruit. They're not made for beating up cows. And that stuck with me. But all I knew at the time was this is the only thing that I could eat that I'm not allergic to and it makes me feel good. Okay? So it's not only for, say, for shifting the consciousness of the planet that we're not eating dead things. Like, we might as well be like vultures like coming out and eating a carcass on the side of the road. Next time you see roadkill, why don't you get out and just start wrestling the, the crows for it? Because it's pretty much what you're doing. I could hear all the negativity coming at me now and I don't give a shit because the truth is the truth, okay? I was channel, I've been channeling for over 14 years or something like that, my timing is really bad. And I was able 
to channel and do this full time and have clients worldwide. But I was suffering. My channeling wasn't suffering, but my endurance was. My moods were suffering. Okay? My physical body was deteriorating. When you go back to food, when you go back to plant-based, I can't tell you enough what it'll do for you. My moods used to be like this. Boom, boom, boom. Bipolar. Ring a bell, anybody? Now my moods are like this. Except when there's an external drama that comes in. Life, right? We all go through that. So I want everybody to know that this isn't something that I did because, you know, I, I was forced to do it or people convinced me to do it. I did this because I saw the difference. I saw the change. I tried it. I tried a two-week vegan challenge. Okay? But I want you all to know that if when you're when you're making this transition, some of you, if you're if you have this so-called fibromyalgia or autoimmune disease or Lyme disease or anything like this, yes, these things do exist. The Lyme disease, and I'm gonna get that the Lyme disease is real. Yes, I've had it. But what happens is if I was to go back and eat the way I did. I would have foggy head, my joints would be burning, I would barely be able to get up, and I'd barely be able to move, and I'd be sleeping all the time, just like I was for years. Okay? Make the transition slow. Slow. Remember, I couldn't even eat an avocado. It made me sick. You know what it made me feel like? Like I had dairy. Now I could eat avocados. I eat them every day. I eat bananas now every day. It took months. This will raise your frequency. You want to be free. You want to come out of the clouds. Do you want to eliminate all risk of cancer, of heart disease? Do you know for women, when you eat meat, it, it inflames the thyroid, creates more bleeding? How about women with... Uh, I forgot the name of it now. It's when the menstrual cycle is really bad and the moods are really bad, right? I forgot the name of it, but this is part of it. This is the sugar, okay? The sugar is the worst thing. Well, they're all bad. But if I was to say, start something first, start releasing the sugar, okay? But set yourself up. To succeed, not to fail. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. Love to everybody. Much more to come. Blessings to all of you. Unconditional love from your higher self. Universal oneness to you. Let it be done. And so it is done.